Assalamu alaikum. I'm here with uh, Moina Niazi. She's the founder of Co-Design, a sustainable design firm. And she's also a teacher of sustainability at various institutions in Pakistan, such as NUST and IBS. In Co recently, this yes, uh, garden room ka project was a client. Ki se. And my first question to you is, how did the idea for this garden room come up? And were there any specific challenges or requirements from the client that influenced your decision making in this project? Yes, so the client came to me that she needed to add a space in her house for her son who was going to visit for the winter holidays. And this was around September that she contacted me, which meant that time was very kam tha. But she felt that the boy didn't have a place to stay and she felt that he needs a room. And she was very stressed out because she felt that, you know, we don't have any space in the current house and I do not want to build anything in my garden because I love my garden and you know construction can be quite messy so she was like I really don't want to give away my garden to build a portion of the house so I said well why don't we make a garden room so and it should not harm the garden so the biggest challenge was that the room should not harm the garden oh, okay so uh, you mentioned that time was less, there was time crunch, tha, so you had to do a lot of quick decision making and you probably looked at a lot of materials such as concrete and uh, various materials for this garden room. So uh, what specific properties of PVC influenced your choice to, cho to choose our products for this garden room? Yeah, so I think more than concrete for fast projects, I usually look at wood. Okay. But in most of my uh, construction extensions, I have found PVC to be a very friendly product. Firstly, because it's available. Secondly, it's thermally better. Thirdly, because it's like, you know, not like wood. I'm not cutting down a tree. I don't have to wait for it to be seasoned. Yeah. And it's waterproof and it's long lasting. And it's, it's, it has so many things going for it. So I had used this product before. So I, I was quite familiar with it. So when she asked me, I immediately said, okay, I know the material. So when you discussed this with the client, obviously there's a lot of concerns that rise from the beach. There are concerns from your side, there are concerns from your side. So one aspect of this is that the usage of the garden rooms in Pakistan, especially in Karachi, there is a big role in the seasonality, a big aspect. So how did the design of this specific garden room uh, address the, cha the challenge of seasonality in your decision making, especially in the COVID period, COVID-19 period? So during COVID-19 is the first garden room that I did. Okay. Since then I've done about three to four spaces like that, which can be ventilated with pivoted doors, sliding doors, openable ventilation and a lot of glass. So with the glass, the quality of the glass is that it comes with a frame that does not need a very heavy footing. So the glass usually forms my walls, almost like a sunroom, but the ceiling is always insulated and we can use materials like PVC and then underneath that we do gypsum and other materials which are also environment friendly. And then we air condition the indoors in summer because the glass can be shut off and in winters you can let it be open. Some of the doors may just fold away or just disappear when you don't want them to be there. Kabi kabar you can put like netting in situations where the trees are really lush and mosquitoes are also there. Because when you're in the outdoors you have to look at mosquitoes, rain, temperature, all of those factors. Yeah. But living outdoors is something that people love in Karachi. Yeah. Because we Absolutely. have at least seven to eight months in which the evenings are stunning. Mm -hmm and people want to be outdoors in the evenings. It's only we don't want to trap the afternoon heat yep. and then you can totally enjoy the place. Okay. So uh, because most of your work does surround and revolve around sustainability, I wanted to ask you, uh, how did you really like focus on sustainability and how did our specifically think PVC's building materials revolve around sustainability in this project? Okay, so I think one of the things people are fixated on is permanence yeah. and with uh, global warming and climate change you've realized nothing is permanent yeah. so change is the only constant yeah. so every day we're seeing seeing a change in the sea level in the temperatures so in that the newer materials are more accustomed to that change so the materials that we use traditionally we have to rethink them we can't build like I can't think that okay my building is going to be like the historic Greek buildings that I look up to because yeah. I don't think they have 6,000 years left, yeah. right? Yeah. So my building has to survive the test of the next flood 
you know yeah. so that's how okay. i'm thinking so when i start thinking in that so in my generation the challenge is to work with temporality or the lightness of architecture and that we have seen that people have put footings where they have harmed the earth for instance if this was made in a permanent material those trees wouldn't have been here yeah. because i would have still been in construction the roots would have been damaged so much labor would have walked on that grass the greenery would have gone yeah. but here we have just put a very light foot forward and mm -hmm. pvc has is a very light material yeah. it doesn't say i'm cutting down a tree it doesn't go deep and damage the earth so it's a very earth friendly there's material. also a very big factor of longevity when you talk about pvc building yes. fields so i think that also played a role in uh, yes so like uh, supposing i make something with concrete and 20 years later the son of the client decides yeah. to break it down mm -hmm. i'm just generating trash yeah. over here he can remove the sheet make another room put the sheet on it yeah. so it's something which is like has a transferability a reuse built into itself so the way it's put together, it can be opened up like a Lego box and you can work it something else yeah. and the blocks will still be useful of the Lego and you can make so many projects. Very interesting. So this project you got, you thought about all factors, you ensured its completion. What was the client's feedback once the project was completed? I think the son has been having a great time here, but more than that, the parents said it's yeah. such a lovely space, you know, when he goes back to his university, it's going to be our entertainment space yeah. and maybe That's it's our retirement room, like they would love to live in the outdoors yeah. because it's a lovely space, it, it, you can sleep here, you can eat here, you can enjoy the sunrise and the sunset. Yeah. Okay, so because your work is focused more on sustainability and because because of that, you're, uh, the, you're using PVC building periods more and more in your projects. So uh, how do you see uh, your future product, projects and think PVC's products? Well, I'm hopeful that with my recent collection of projects which are made with lightweight materials, I'm hopeful that bigger projects will come up with lightweight materials. And currently, I'm looking at an inquiry with a client who has a house on a cliff, which means that if we want to do RCC construction, we have to do a lot of retaining walls, a lot of heavy footings or piling work because it's a very like cliff uh, site and also sites in the mountains. So there's another client in Islamabad who wants a project. So I'm thinking of making projects in lightweight construction with raised footings so that we do not puncture the earth with our footings yeah. and then we don't sit there forever and we're not worried about the earthquakes as well because it's lightweight and it just like will maybe shake a little bit if there's a wind a movement or if there's an earth movement but it's made to last and more like more in response to climate change and yeah. the temperature changes as well so moina with that i thank you a lot for your time